guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today I'm here to talk to you about a dress that is literally more than a year in the making. <laughs> this dress has been in my works in progress pile for literally more than 12 months. And there's no good reason. Just sheer laziness is all there is to it. I think that I didn't feel like hand stitching that day and so I didn't want to stitch the lining to the bodice and that was its demise. That's where, it, that's what led it to um, the pile of works in progress. But not anymore because I pulled it out and I finished it and I am so, so happy that I did. Um, this is the Colette Hazel, and if you remember, um, or if you follow me on Instagram, I had posted just some little hand drawings that I had done of three different dresses. One was the Hazel, one was the Deer and Doe Centauri, Centauri, um, and then one was just any old princess seamed bodiced dress and asked you guys to please vote and I think that either most people voted for the hazel or I just like that option better after drawing it out because that's what I ended up making. I don't exactly remember what happened because that was a long time ago but um, I thought that the centauri, I don't speak French, um, looked a lot like a spider web which got me thinking as I was mentally preparing for this video that that would be really cool out of like black and white stripe for Halloween if you wanted to do like a Halloween dress but not make it like a print of ghosts or pumpkins or whatever you know what I mean it would be like a nod to Halloween in like a kind of classy way it really does look like a um, spider web whenever it gets sewn up has so many different parts um, but so yeah, so I ended up deciding on the hazel and then I wanted to add just another element of stripe variation to it. So I added a waistband um, and that was super simple to do. I think I just shortened the bodice by a little bit and then added on a strip underneath that um, maybe an inch and a half or so wide um, and sewed it up. And from what I remember, sewing it was really, really easy. Um, you know, Colette's patterns are known for like curvier figures. So I didn't feel like I had any issues with the bust or, I mean, it's a gathered skirt, so it's very generous in the hips anyways, but, um, but no issues there, really well drafted. Um, so that was all good. The only issue I had was with the strap. And I know you're thinking they were too long, but you're wrong. It was actually too short. Um, which was causing this whole thing, like this whole, this whole seam here was like up here and it was creating this weird like bubbling and I couldn't figure it out at first. I thought, I didn't know what was going on, but then whenever I pulled the dress forward and allowed this seam to sit much lower, um, that fixed that whole problem, which further proves when they say when you're going to make alterations, start at the top and work your way down, that that really held true in this example because I was going to go to here and start letting things out but that wasn't what you needed to do. I just needed to let the um, whole dress shift down some and sit lower so where the darts sat at my natural apex. Um, so but yeah so I did that. Um, of course I did that after I had hand sewed everything and since the hand sewing was the catalyst for me not finishing it to begin with there was no way I was going to undo that hand sewing. So I decided to unpick the straps and then hand sew them back on, <laughs> which I know some of you are going, that's so silly, but that's what I did. Um, but yeah, so the dress came together really well with just one little fitting adjustment um, and that one little, I guess, I guess it's a pattern hack. And I just really love how the stripes look. This fabric came from Stylemaker Fabrics. She does still have a listing for it on her website. However, there's only one half of a yard left. So if you love this fabric and can think of something you can make out of it for half a yard, um, by all means, it's on sale for $9 a yard right now. Um, it is a rayon cotton blend. 
um, and she describes it as a shirting. Um, so if you find any rayon shirting out there, it should give you a similar drape and flow and all of that stuff as this one does. The lining, I'm guessing, is 100% polyester. Knowing myself a year ago, yeah, that's probably, <laughs> that's probably what it is. Um, it's navy, which is really complimentary to the denim color. And I just really love the variation in the stripe. You know, I love how it's like a wider one and then three smaller ones, and then a wider one, and then a few smaller ones. You know, it's not so uniform. I think that really adds to the visual interest of the dress. Um, so, yeah, that is my Colette Hazel dress. Finally, finally, out of the work in progress bin and in my closet and I'm so happy about it. I'm glad I finally got it done um, and, and and really truly loving wearing it. I feel maybe more tied to this pattern because it was a vision you know I had in my head. It's like my own vision, my own creativity is represented here. A lot of times I feel like we take inspiration, we see an idea from somebody else and then we just replicate that which is totally fine I do that all the time but it's really interesting to see what happens whenever you have your own idea that you haven't seen anywhere else and it comes to fruition like in a really positive way um so I feel really really good about this dress I'm very proud of it so that's all I have to say about this let me know in the comments below what your work in progress pile looks like do you have one at all um, do you have a large one like me? Um, let me know how like your tips for tackling it because I've got a lot of work to do. I'm trying to do one a week now through the end of the year. Um, but I don't know how that's going to go. So let me know. Let me know your thoughts on works in progress in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.